Hello everyone, Ron Presley with Catfish Now. I've got Ryan Lawrence in the studio with me here this evening. And Ryan is a BM Pro Staff Angler and Director of the Tennessee River Catfish Club. And Ryan, I'd just like to talk to you, visit a little about your club. And uh, in the first place, what motivated you to start uh, the Tennessee River Catfish Club? Well, um, you know, if you look down at Tennessee River, there's a bunch of little clubs around. You know, there's certain clubs in Alabama. There's some clubs in Tennessee. But they all pretty much stick to one body of water. You know, Wheeler Lake, Wilson Lake, or East Tennessee would be like Watts Bar and, and Fort Loudon. But nobody has really, you know, take the whole river system and made a trail that I'm aware of. There might have been one back, you know, 10 years ago. I think Mike Mitchell might have been a director back then. But, uh, okay. you know, nobody has since then, you know, taken all the lakes that don't see a lot of, you know, don't see a lot of fishing on. People fish, but they're not tournaments on it. Like Chickamauga, you know, oh, Nickajack, things like that. There's not a lot of tournaments on those bodies of water. So it's always fun to see how each body water is they also so each you know, each each event is on the tennessee river in some body of water just like the name implies yeah you don't it, you don't fish other bodies of water nope it's all tennessee river um we cover all the way down i have not ran one on kentucky lake yet um but i have covered the other everyone besides kentucky lake well everyone familiar with the tennessee river knows that there's sure good catfishing over there. So yeah. uh, uh, now, this is your first year, right? This is my second year. This last is your second year. year. Okay, Thank good. And do you have a set number of uh, events per year? Or I suppose you set it up in advance. Yeah, we do. We have nine events total. We do eight regular season, and then we do our championship. We take three months off, basically. Um, I, I haven't ran a, month, uh, a tournament in January because – winter blues and now bama blues was in january which is a huge event on the tennessee river so i skipped that month and then i skipped the hottest part of the summer july and august it's just yeah. too hard on the fish and you know i'm not the person to do nighttime events you know my work schedule night events is not you know what i can do so yeah so we just skip the hot months and let the fish spawn. one thing let the fish spawn and then you know Sure, you got that time anyway. Yeah, when the water gets up there in the high 80s, 90s, let them fish, you know, not sitting alive well. Well, you mentioned the Bama Blues. I've noticed that uh, they're going to have their first yes. January tournament, I guess, coming up. So we'll give them a little plug, too. I uh, I bet there'll be a lot of people interested in that. Should be, yeah, from what I'm saying, it should be a great event. You know, myself and my tournament partner, Mark, will be there. Well, we're going to fish it and uh, You're help out we fishing. can for them guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Mark, he's also a uh, and pro staffer, so I see you guys around a lot. Uh, yeah. When you see him, you can say hi to me. I, oh, I again, sure will. I'll I'm see, not getting to see a lot of people this year. I'll, I'll get to see him in a few weeks here. He's going to come fish the uh, Fort Loudon event for the Tennessee River Catfish Club with me so we can hang out. Okay, that's your next event? Yep, it'll be October 31st. We're going to have a Halloween event this year, and uh should be great, you know, it's on Fort Loudon, and the fishing's been great out there right now. So I'm, I'm expecting some big weights. Have you got anything special planned because it's Halloween? No, but I heard some of my uh, members that fish a lot. We're talking about doing a Halloween costume. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, competition. That, so I'll be curious. That would be. Wouldn't that I'm be let, an interesting way in Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, let, I'm letting them guys handle that, though. I'm, <laughs> well, I don't want too much on my plate. <laughs> at, at least use a, a punk and a jack-o'-lantern for to draw some prize uh, raffles out or something oh, like yeah, that. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. a good idea. Tiffany will carve that for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see about that. huh? Well, have you got any specific goals for the trail? Uh, what What do you want to do with it? Uh, I don't know if I have any goals. I, You know... I just try to run the best trail I can run, I guess. I guess, you know, I, I, I've fished a bunch of tournaments and I've learned a lot through each different trail I've fished or national trails, smaller trails, you know, and I just try to try to be the best I can to make sure, you know, people want to come back and fish my trail, I guess, you know, yeah. they don't, they don't come to my event and be like, boy, that was horrible. I, I'm just, I try to, you know, we're very, very friendly. A lot of guys will travel up and down the river with me that, you know, they love the events. 
Um, so we're just trying to grow it as much as we can, you know what I mean, without – we don't really have any, like, large events on the trail yet, but we're, we're working on them. How many boats are you are you getting right now? Um, we're probably averaging close to 25, I would say, this year, per, which is up last year, probably seven or eight boats per event. You know, that's it's, good. So you are seeing some growth. Yeah, we are seeing some growth. I'm see, I've seen a lot of new faces this year, which which is great. You know, all, everybody from last year's back, and a, and a bunch of new faces. You know, that's that's good. Well, the the sport is growing. Yes, and the, even in other parts of the well, I saw was it Eddie White that just yeah Eddie White just announced a new trail in the western yeah states which is, so, which is uh, awesome because there's just not much out there for them guys either so exactly and yeah. and i noticed the uh, king cat is going to a regional concept they're trying to get spread out i guess a little more or something and uh, yeah so that, that's next year i guess something coming up i'm i just saw that and i don't know too much about it yet i don't i, don't know I, I like to that see year. that yeah they had, they've had a, they've had a tough year this year with COVID. They had to cancel a whole bunch of events this year too, with each oh, state yeah. and different regular, you know, rules and stuff. So they've had a, they've had a pretty tough year. They've had a tough year. year. They really have. Well, of course, everybody had to deal with that, but yeah. Uh, Them yeah, more I, than most, cause they travel to all those different States and you know, it's yeah, I think they, they probably canceled more than half their events yeah, up, uh, so. somewhere in there. I don't know. It was a bunch. And, yeah. Of course, they've got new personnel and so on and so forth. Uh, but uh, I, this uh, regional thing sounds interesting to me because they'll have regional championships before the classic. Yeah, so which it'll is a be great a, idea. Yeah, no, I, I think like that's going to be a good idea. We'll yeah. we'll watch them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it make it makes and, people not have to travel as, as far to exactly if they keep them in their little corners. Yeah, which and if it could draw more boats that way. If it's good for the uh, industry, it's good for all of us. So, That's right. I uh, right. wish them the best, you know. Uh, what else? Here? Oh, I, I always wonder about volunteers. Do you get people to volunteer, help you run the tournament, or you, you get stuck doing everything yourself? Well, I, I fish my events. You know, it's a little different than some, you know, directors. You know, I know a lot of the bigger ones can't fish their events. But sure. for me, I go out and fish, you know. My thought is if I'm, I'm the last one – Last one out, first one in, and if I beat you guys, good for me. But uh, yeah, yeah. usually whoever's in the boat with me is that's their that's my volunteer because that that's yeah. their prize for getting the fish. That, with that's me. usually what it amounts to. Yeah, well, you know, to. I have uh, noticed, and anyone would, uh, when you see the really well-run tournaments, they're efficient and so on and so forth. They got a lot of people working. Now I'm yeah, talking you, about bigger tournaments. You, yeah, you have to. You know, I had a couple tournaments this year where we had over 30 boats. It's tough for one person yeah. to try to do everything. It is extremely tough. You you got to have a couple volunteers. And well, even uh, even as a traveling outdoor rider, you know, when when those boats when it gets even a hundred. That's a killer for me. Oh yeah, to try to yeah. take photos and so on and so forth. It it really is. Once in a while, I love a little twenty four to thirty boat tournament. It's you have time and you can you can take some pictures with people. Not everybody hurrying to get through yeah. and all. So uh, I kind of like it. Uh, and but we're seeing more caps too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and some some body of water need it. You know, just uh, it's it's better on the fish too. You know, they're not waiting in it. So they're waiting, you know, 100 boats compared to 200 boats. Those fish sitting in a live well for an extra long period of time, it's hard on them. It is. And it's nice to see those big tournaments making and uh, adapting to take care of those fish, too, yeah. and, and, uh, one and way or of, another. A lot of things they can do. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of events now are, are really pushing the conversation, con conservation of the fish, you know, making sure they're, they're healthy. Yeah. By the way, the, uh, uh, cat, the cat masters at Possum Kingdom are going on right now. Yeah. Uh, have you fished that one before? I did. Uh, actually, the Helena tournament they did. Uh, Mark and I. Yeah. Did oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I just I I should have remembered that. Right. Congratulations on that. Oh, by thank the way. you. Yeah, uh, we're gonna fish a couple more of those. We're gonna go out and fish uh, Tawakini, and then of course we're gonna do the one on the Tennessee River. So that uh, that's going to be very interesting i sure hope i uh, get to be there i'm i'm planning on it. it's on the calendar I, at <laughs> least uh, we'll see how everything goes but yeah that that would be nice but they put on, uh, a, they put on the, a the 20 yeah, they do a great job with that series yeah the 2018 winners chris and kylie baldwin 
are leading after day one. Good job. I mean, those, they're so, good fishermen, you know. Husband, wife, they come they? Out there and put a whooping on some people. Yeah. So uh, I, I saw. I just happened to see the the last boat way in today. <laughs> been busy and didn't get to watch, but they had a good uh, live feed, and I did see that. And I think Larry Muse and uh, oh, I forgot who's fishing with him. They were either in second or had big fish. There was there was some little blurb there, and I. I was again busy and I, I heard him say he was very amused and I turned it back in there and uh, didn't catch really what they, why they were there. Yeah. So I'm assuming they were either maybe second place or maybe big fish. So uh, <laughs> another good angler there. He, oh he yeah. Larry's good job. Yeah, Larry's he's, getting, good he's getting slapped around a lot this year. I don't know <laughs> if you notice. He's in right. fact, he's it might've been where you were in Helena that he got whooped pretty oh, good. Yeah. He yeah. uh he putting that oxygen in there, getting them fish all riled up. <laughs> yeah, he keeps them juiced up for sure. Uh, and you mentioned, I was wondering uh, if you were seeing the tournament grow, and you said it was just like the the whole industry is growing. Yeah, so that's, it, it's definitely exploding everywhere. You know, it's good news for everybody. Yeah. Well, how uh, how do people keep up with the trail and uh, contact you or whatever if they they want to enter or whatever? What? Um, probably the easiest way would be our Facebook page, Tennessee River Catfish Club. If anybody has any questions like, like that, just shoot me a, a PM through there or my personal page. But mostly everybody sends everything through the trail page. Um, we don't have a website or anything up yet. Yeah. You know, that's something we're talking about working on for the future. But uh, as of now, just a just Facebook page. And your next event is October? October 31st out on Fort Loudon. On we're, Fort Loudon. We're running out of the Ish Creek boat ramp. There you go, folks. There's one to put on your calendar. Well, thank you uh, for the time, uh, Lawrence and uh, Ryan, and uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Y'all fish with passion. <laughs>